How's it going, fellow Detroit Rivings fans? Let's go back to last season. We had a young prospect that was absolutely dominating the SHL, and he's not Lucas Raymond, or Borit Sider, or Albert Johansson. Okay, we had a lot of prospects that fit that description, but regardless, we are talking about Jonathan Bergeron, a prospect from the Holland era, taking a couple of spots after Joe Valeno in the second round of the 2018 NHL Draft, and had a couple of injury-ridden seasons before finally having a breakout year. But before we get too far into today's video, I want to give a shout out to Devin Morse. We hit the 1,000 subscriber mark a little bit ago and want to start thank you guys for making the Rebbing Nation community a community. So if you want to get a shout out, make sure you subscribe and join lots of other Red Wing and hockey fans. Back to Bergeron's breakout season, following being drafted, Bergeron earned 15 points in 40 games played in the SHL split between two seasons. He displayed high talent, quick hands, and impressive playmaking ability, but just couldn't stay healthy. And then the 2020-21 season came, it was his first full season, and he completely and utterly dominated his SHL competition, especially for his age group. As a U21 player, he recorded 45 points in 49 games played. The next best U21 player recorded 32 points in 52 games played. This was good enough to tie for first on his team in points, and the other player that tied for him on his team played a couple more games than Bergeron did. And he also tied for sixth in the entire SHL. So yes, naturally the Detroit Red Wings signed Bergeron to an entry level contract May 20th, he came over with Lucas Raymond this fall, attending the 2021 Prospect Tournament. You can check the video out about the games and a semi-play-by-play -play breakdown as well. Anyways, yes, Bergeron did well, paired on a line with Raymond and Valeno that made an impressive top line. I believe both Bergeron and Raymond left the tournament early due to minor injuries. Then training camp and then preseason. Bergeron was good in both, but lack of a good opportunity in the Detroit Red Wings lineup most likely pushed Bergeron down to find ice time with the Grand Rapids Griffins on their top line, gaining experience with the North American ice and style of play. Bergeron definitely didn't come flying out of the gate either in Grand Rapids, recording only one point in his first five games. But since then, he has gone off with 15 points in his last 16 games played and is currently third in scoring on Grand Rapids. So, so far this season, Bergeron has 7 goals, 9 assists, or 16 points in 21 games played. It's interesting to see that he is scoring goals about as fast as he is getting assists, being that Bergeron has always, at least for his professional career, been a playmaking setup guy. I mean, he had almost three times as many assists in the SHL last season as he had goals. So to see his abilities are starting to broaden is a very good sign. Bergeron is most likely pegged as one of the next call-ups after Joe Valeno, who is with the Detroit Red Wings right now. We could see him make his NHL debut after the trade deadline or sooner, just depending on how injuries, trades, and the team plays. What do you think? Is Bergeron ready to be a solid contributor on the Red Wings lineup? Where will he end up on the roster? Let us know down below. Red Wing Nation was designed to be a community of Red Wings fans that can come together and talk about all things Red Wings. If you like this video, make sure you drop a like. That way we make more content that you like. And lastly, if you are a hockey fan, if you are a Red Wings fan, if you're just a great person, make sure you subscribe and join this wonderful community. And until next time, Lights Out in the Red Light District.